Wayne Wright in the morning, aka Widow. You know, shout out to Christ Life Holy Empire Clothing, uh, heclothing.com. Check it out when you get a chance. Their Facebook like page. And then I want you to check out Wayne Wright in the morning like page on Facebook. You can go to www.facebook.com slash who widow. W H O W I T M. Who widow. Yeah, Wayne Wright in the morning. But anyway, my host, uh, my topic today is on loving your enemies and praying for your enemies. You know, when you go to work, you see, I'm going to just use work because I have issues at work myself. You go to work and you and you have people that are around you that smiling in your face, but, you know, backstabbing you or whatever. And, uh, you know, lying to the supervisor about you or not even that. I mean, you could be anywhere. You could be with your friends and so-called friends and people will be, you know, backstabbing you, downplaying you talk stuff to your face, you know, and lie on you and etc. You know, people want to fight you for no reason, etc. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, just knowing your enemies. And, uh, you know, it was instructed, Jesus said that we should pray for our enemies. We should love our enemies like we love ourselves. And how often do you do that? You know, you can make your enemies your stepping stone your footstool, you know, uh, and you don't know the power in prayer and that, but I'm going to take you back to, you know, when Jesus was on the cross before he got nailed to the cross. Well, he was on the cross when he prayed, you know, they beat him, they mocked him, they uh, persecuted him, they, they, they ripped his flesh off his body, they spit in his face, they lied on him, they nailed him to the cross, you know, he took three nails, not one, but three nails to the cross, you got to think about that, and then he hung there. With that thorn on his head, you know, bleeding from his head, and and they laughing at him, talking mad stuff about him, and lying on him. And at the end of the day, he showed love. He prayed for his enemies. He prayed for his enemies. He said, "Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do." And I want you to think about that. He prayed. At the end of the day, he prayed for us because we slip up all the time, and you know, be blasphemous, you know, uh, all the time. You know, and now I want you to think about it from a bigger point where I said loving your enemies and making them your footstool. Now that 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 happened, he prayed for us. Now this earth is his footstool. And guess what? We have to bow down to Jesus all the time. Like, Lord, forgive me for this sin. Lord, forgive me for that. Like we need him. And that's how our enemies will be towards us when we pray for them. You know, they they talk mad stuff about you behind your back, no matter where you are, in your face. They don't care. They cause problems around you. But when you pray for them, sooner or later, they're going to come back to you like, hey, I'm sorry. I need this. I need that. And it just shows like how beautiful God's word is and how it's, it's just so real. So, I mean, when people at your job, at your school, wherever you at, I don't, I don't care, clubs, I ain't talking about the worldly clubs. I'm talking about like you know church clubs or just groups wherever you at. Like, pray for your enemies, man. Stores wherever you at, pray for them enemies, man. Cause at the end of the day, you're gonna be able to walk over them. They're gonna be trying to come back to you for something. But at the end of the day, don't just do it for that. Just do it out of the kindness of your heart. Love them. You know, for God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. I had to throw that scripture in there. You know, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So believe in Jesus, man, and continue to uh, be in his word and just pray for people, man. Like I always say in all the other videos, it's a perfect time to pray, no matter what, whatever you're going through. Uh, I just want to show y'all, uh, show some love on that note. And I hope that's some food for thought. You know, um, Wayne right in the morning, a.k.a. with him. Love y'all, man. Grace and peace. Pass the word.